tropical island getaway without leaving your house? These girls made a little slice of summer heaven right in their room. And rest assured, no one got hurt in this construction zone. Annie and Jane are having a domestic disaster. Their DIY renovation turned out to be a mission impossible. It's weird, everything looks so simple in the YouTube video. All they wanted was for the room to be bright and colorful. Okay, I have an idea. We need to call this number. Hello, is this DIY Island Company? We have an urgent order. Lots of sand and palm leaves. A killer yes. ocean view from the window too. The delivery is fast. The girls didn't even have time to get bored. Hey. The delivery person gives Jane and Annie the last instructions. Follow the user guide. Do not lose spare parts. Use carefully. I can't wait to start building our own personal paradise. So, shall we unpack it? Just imagine how awesome it will be here. Well, according to the ad, anyway. Wow. But in order to get it together, uh -huh. you are gonna need to work wow. hard. Start off the construction with a wall mural. The girls lay out some parts of the paradise landscape on the floor. Smooth them out and glue them together. Now they just have to find a place for this piece. I think it would be perfect here. Use your imagination. Just pretend the bungalow is right next to the ocean. The girls put up the mural. They need quite a bit of tape. That's just the beginning. What's next? There's about to be a lot of sand on the floor. Which means they need to cover it with cling wrap. They are going to need a lot. And some masking tape to keep it down. The girls spread the film all over the floor and secure the edges to the sides with masking tape. Perfect! And now, the highlight of the night, uh -huh. the sand! Jane and Annie are working hard. This is so much fun! Now they have the biggest sandbox. But sand by itself is boring. They need some greenery. These soft green mats are in the kit for a reason. Jane and Annie decided to lay the lawn near the pier to admire the ocean. A couple of minutes later, and they're all done. Wow. But can an island be called an island if there are no palm trees? These trunks and huge leaves turn into tropical trees. They just have to secure them in the sand. Done! We can continue on with the construction. <laughs> Real beachgoers need a nice little beach house. Jane and Annie are some serious construction workers. They fasten the bamboo trunks with twine. They have to make it secure. Annie has a few pieces of fabric that they can use to cover the tent. They attach everything at the top of the tent. Now they just have to spruce it up a little with some flowers. They cover the floor with a soft blanket too, to make it comfy. A couple pillows never hurt anyone either. Uh -huh. The girls are pleased with their results. <laughs> this wall feels a little empty. We need to put some cool flags up. Annie wants to turn this part into a dance floor. That's a great idea! Even an island home needs some water. After all, the plan was to conquer the waves. And the girls have an idea. They put a dent sheet of plywood covered with blue glue on a stand. Now let's make waves. You'll need some blue fabric. Hey, Jane, give me back the C. The more fabrics and different colors and textures, the more and more it looks like a real ocean. Don't you think? Let's release a part of the floor from the film. And now, lay out layers of blue fabric near the slide. Put a piece of blue tulle on top. Cover it with cling wrap. It will make the fake ocean shine and look cool and realistic. 
The weather on your little island home should always be nice. Jane and Annie are gluing some clouds all around. They have to make sure to fluff them properly. Doesn't it look cute? Do they have any tropical mm -hmm. construction plans for the bathroom? Why is everything covered in film here? Yeah, Annie's trying to build a real jungle. Jane clearly isn't totally on board. Well, she should be. With just a little mounting foam and paint, the volcanic rocks are ready. Wow. Like always, they just need to finish it off with some plants. The girls know what they are doing. This rope will really tie the whole room together. What if we also add a garland? Done! Yes! It looks like there are hundreds of fireflies sitting on the rocks. The floor in the jungle is covered with an artificial lawn. Jane and Annie have a cool, mysterious camp in the middle of the jungle. It's surrounded by vines and thickets. It's so serene. Day one of the grandiose construction has come to an end. They can finally relax, but it might be nice to have a little fire. This stand is good for it. They need to decorate. Let's use sand and all kinds of seashells. And of course, as many candles as possible. Now, on to the main event. Let there be light. They can make a fire in a particularly large shell. Want to roast marshmallows? Mm. On your very own island, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes so good with a mm -hmm. little Nutella on top. Mm. Delicious! Jane, bust the ukulele out. We can't have a perfect summer campfire without a guitar. And after a tasty snack, the songs sound even better. Here it is, the romance of the wild tropics, right in your house, next to the living room. Any self-respecting tourist kicks off an island morning with surfing. Jane tries to hone her skills in conquering the waves. She's got water playing on the screen and a skateboard ready to go. Whoops, no big deal, you fell down. You can always try again. But Annie insists it's time to finish up the construction. They just have to spruce up the entrance to their gateway. Some green fabric and fake vines are all it takes. Plenty of carved leaves, perfect. Uh -huh. Yay! The tropical island is ready! And to immerse yourself in the ocean atmosphere, you can use a sea spray scented air freshener. Mmm! Doesn't it smell great? Make sure you crank up the AC to maximum to get that nice ocean breeze! Where did that parrot come from? Wow! Apparently, the rainbow bird has confused this home mini island with a real beach! That's a good sign! It means Jane and Annie really got authenticity! <laughs> Let's crank up the tunes and have some fun! They sent out beach party invites a long time ago! Come to the party! You'll get a tasty gift! Finally, all the friends are gathered. The dress code is swimsuits, sunglasses, and a good mood. Oh. It's time to dance. It seems that Carrie decided to rock this water slide. Add a little vegetable oil, and you can go crazy. Woohoo! Woo How cool! Wow. You guys have to try this. The food smells so amazing. Juicy vegetables, spicy sausages. I love it. Barbara has taken over as chef. And of course, the sea of selfies to boast of their weekends in the tropical zone. This party is all about surfing, tasty treats, and dancing until dawn. 
Yahoo! Let's dance the hula! Their friends will remember this party for a long time! And in the evening, you can all sit together near the fire! Good company, soulful songs, and the noise of the ocean waves from the portable speaker! The tropical atmosphere is perfect! And when all your friends are gone, you can make yourself a coconut cocktail and visit the mysterious stone cave. A blue lake in the jungle. Annie has always dreamed of splashing in one of those. Mmm, the water is so warm and crystal clear. Complete relaxation. The island weekend was a success. Did you like our home island video? How can you turn your room into the tropics? Let us know in the comments! Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it! And subscribe to our channel if you're new! Click on the bell so you don't miss anything from Troom Troom Wow!